Yo guys, what up? Me, Patrick LeVar. Good morning. It's morning on my side of the planet. Um, I'm basically going to, I have a little bit of time before work to shoot, uh, make a quick video here. I'm going to show you some of my steps and some of my settings and the things I use or the things I do with Filmic Pro to kind of get some of the shots like I got in the last video. Uh, just kind of like my workflow and I guess how I shoot B-roll. Anyways, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so I'm going to walk you through a quick setup on how I get uh, some of my shots. A lot of you guys have been asking questions on the settings I use in Filmic Pro. So I'm just going to quickly walk through a shot here. So I have my, my magic arm connected to my uh, kitchen handle. My subject is going to be the coffee cup here. I'm basically just going to make some coffee. And um, this is the, the initial setup. I wanted to use a low angle at the kitchen uh, counter because you don't use people don't see things from this angle a lot. So again, just trying to get uh, get a, a, an unusual angle. Hit record. Take my cup away. Boom. Then I'll stop it. All right. Next, what I'm going to do here is jump into Filmic Pro. Show you my steps on all that. I typically normally would jump in and here we go this is my the stock settings that it just pops up into uh, I like to go to my resolution my resolution for this one is going to be uh, HD 16 by 9 uh, I normally go to extreme and I keep my thing here at HD and then from there I'll jump into my frame rate we're gonna do 24 frames on this one I do capture at 24 frames playback at 24 frames so then that puts me over here to my settings next on my shutter speed and if I can tap that there we go 96 I crank that down to 50 as close as possible to 50 uh, 48 I think is the magic number 48 there I lock it at 48 now I expose my shot here you can see my zebra stripes I like to get my zebra stripes almost hardly anything as, as much as low as possible um, and up here in the top it's still a little hot so then from there I normally would use an ND filter uh, I have the newer ND filter for a cell phone clip it barely fits on my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge but I, uh, it works enough so well, normally typically I'll open that up first to its widest setting there it's wide open and then I'll put that on here let me do that all right, I got the ND filter on there. Again, now I'm gonna turn on my zebra stripes. Now there's a couple of little, you know, high exposure zones here. It's not a lot, but um, I just, I wanna get it as, uh, as dark as possible. It's basically, I mean, the, I don't want the highlights to clip. And that's what really sets your, uh, your footage off from really looking like a cell phone. Okay, and there it's kind of fainted. But now you can see my, I'm kind of losing a little bit of details here in my highlights. So I'll just kind of bring this back in and just kind of find a happy balance between shadows and uh, highlights here and I think I can get away with that let's turn that off and let's see what that looks like oh man dang it did it redo I think it may have reset all my settings oh it kept it good 48 on the shutter speed is locked okay so that looks a little dark but I tend to notice it looks a little darker on the phone and then when I bring it into a, a premiere or something I can easily lighten it up and so I kind of this is something I've been doing next and I'll quickly get my focus in this is going to be uh, again the cup right there is going to be my main focus and get my my focus peaking roughly about on right there right about there and then I'll go ahead and get a practice shot I'll go ahead and hit record take my cup away Boom, then I'll stop it. Go ahead and play back and review and check that out and then see how the shot looks. One other thing I failed to mention was my profile setup um, and my color. I typically will leave it in auto white balance depending on the situation. Um, I, I, sh I should have set this up earlier, showed you. And then I'll go into here. I, I like to use the flat profile 
Um, right now it's pretty, it's, it, they re up, they updated the flat profile. So it looks really good. And I think I can get a little bit more of a darker shot and save it in premiere when I go to color grade it. Um, so it's just something I've been using. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much basic, my basic setup that I use for most of my shots. Again, I just try to keep these highlight, uh, up here as dark as possible and finding a happy medium between the shadows. Uh, being too dark and the uh, highlights being too high, but I typically lean towards the darker side for me All right guys, so here's the next shot. I'm going to set up uh, Basically this one. I didn't need the indie filter because it's not that dark So I basically again will expose it just there make sure I don't have any clipping no zebra stripes My focal point is going to be on the button because I'm going to show myself hitting the button once I got that focus um, I have this little plastic bag here if you see underneath it in the shot just to kind of give some depth to the shot kind of dirty up the frame a little bit and pretty much that's it just gonna hit record and do this shot Again, just showing you how versatile this magic arm is. I use this more than I use a tripod, guys, the way I have this mounted up here. There's just no way you can mount a tripod like this. Magic arm, fantastic. Okay, this next shot, I've got the magic arm connected to the, the vent for the stove, and I got it inverted, so I'm shooting down at this coffee, at this coffee pot here in hopes that when the steam releases, I'll have the camera slide over the top of it, just kind of getting a, I don't know, just a shot I thought about right now, just to be nice to see if we can get the steam to kind of like fog up the lens. So, uh, I don't know, we'll see how it comes out. But I'm waiting for the coffee water to start, uh, the, the hot water to start boiling, the steam release out. Then I'm gonna set the, the, the slider into slide over, right over the top of the steam, get that in there. Gear grip dolly, working its magic. shot back over here at the cup I got the grip gear dolly slider set up again um, I'm gonna let it slide across here and then underneath here you see I have the coffee filter ready to go uh, I'm gonna have it basically just slide in and uh, I'm gonna center it up on the on the uh, point here of my uh, okay, I can't forget the name of this right now my uh, bars <laughs> three point Oh man, I totally forgot what they, how they call this. But anyways, my shot's gonna be set up. I'm gonna have the whole center there. It's gonna slide into position. <coughs> oh yeah, I remembered. It's called a rule of thirds. The rule of thirds. <laughs> Here's my next shot. I've got the bag of the filter for the coffee filter. And I got the camera mounted again with the grip gear, I mean with the uh, magic arm. And this time I have it kind of like shooting through, see if I can get this in focus, shooting through the bag. So when I put my fingers inside here, you'll see me grab out the, uh, let me see if I can get it. Oh, what's in the, let me stop that. Go back to the shot. You can see my fingers here in the bag. So it's kind of like a POV shot through the bag. Again, guys, just to show you how versatile this is, I mean, this is the reason why I'm able to get these type of cool shots using that. Then I have this clip here just to hold the bag so when I go to get the bag, it wouldn't move out of the out of the shot. Another cool shot utilizing my action cam here. I basically put this uh, inside the cup like that. Put the lid on here and then had, the, had it recording and then threw the coffee filter on top just to give a, again, a different perspective, trying to just see things in different ways that we normally don't see things. Kind of makes it a, I don't know, interesting. All right, guys. Well, that's how I, ah, yummy, make a cup of coffee. Uh, again, it's just, this is the way I do it. A lot of people are going to be like, hang on, where's the super slow-mo and, you know, the Peter McCain stylish stuff? I'm not Peter McCain, guys. I'm Patrick LeVar, and that's how I do my, I guess, insane B-roll. I guess this was kind of like a B-roll video, I guess. But it was basically just to show you the steps and the, some of the settings and the things I go through to set up these shots all on my cell phone. And using this little indie filter helps out a lot. I use the uh, Gear Grip Dolly today, which also uh, I've been using quite often uh, because it's just quick and easy, and um, I, I really like enjoy using that. So, 
uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm trying to try, trying to stay more active now and and get in and get some more videos out to you guys. So if you guys got any uh, future videos you want to see in the future, slam them down in the comments below. Below, like, subscribe, do all that social media nonsense, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Patrick Lavar, keep filming. See.